Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you're watching my home office tour for the year ending 2014, beginning 2015. And I'm starting out at the general angle that you're probably most accustomed to and walking backwards to give you a fuller view. Do not worry, I'm going to crawl through just about every possible detail I can, or at least put up with, uh, as long as my camera's battery lasts. You might also note that I've got my torch on to better illuminate darker parts of the office. Woo! Wow, look at that! It's one screen! I traded up. I exchanged a classic Mac Pro, which I still have. I'm going to be giving it away to one of the patrons. We've got a bonus at a certain pledge level. In fact, the patrons will be watching this video before everybody else. Tons of bonuses uh, await you at chrisperillo.com. It's a great way of supporting the community, and it's very, very, very affordable, and uh, it, it's really helpful. I love doing things for you, including this, and I'm more than happy to give more of myself to people who are willing to give more of themselves to us. Um, very happy with its uh, decision. I wasn't sure if I was really going to like going from two screens to large screens to one, and I did. It was it was a, it was an okay move. I've not yet missed that second screen at all, if only because of the heat it produced. Um, you know, this is uh, a faster computer spec wise. It doesn't feel that much faster than the classic Mac Pro because I kind of spec that one out when I got it. Uh, but it's it's been a nice upgrade, a solid upgrade, and uh, I, I do like uh, having an iMac as a primary machine right here, uh, capable of running pretty much any OS I might want to run in legal capacity. The uh, area behind the Mac, you can see, is completely clean, or as clean as possible. Uh, the mic that I've been using for a number of years kind of stays hidden, tucked away until I need it, because why would I need to stare at the mic? You know, I, I believe the mic is like a tool, because that's what it is. And that's how I view technology as a tool. And yes, there are some nicer pieces of technology, certainly, like the Tix Clocks, classic Tix Clocks, which are out of sync, I'm sure. Um, I'm not going to be going through a lot of the uh, drawers and um, cabinetry, necessarily, as I walk around the office. I'm sure I'll get uh, a request for doing that, but uh, I'm not going to show you everything for a variety of reasons. Number one, time. Number two, uh, because I, I think a lot of the stuff that I might have in drawers is boring. The, uh, <laughs> except for what's behind these cabinets right here in the hutch. I, I am kind of excited about what's here because over the past year, uh, I've begun to collect uh, various Star Wars figures. This is the area where I'm keeping the figures. They will be removed from their uh, packaging eventually, but I'm going to be building a cantina shelf or a cantina area somewhere. These are the creatures from uh, the Star Wars cantina. Uh, from the movie A New Hope, or the original Star Wars movie on this side, Jabba creatures, or, uh, you know, characters found in or around Jabba's palace, just so you know. What used to be back there were a whole bunch of rewritable media, like discs, DVDs, CDs, etc., but I never used them, <laughs> never wanted them around, so what was the point of keeping them? Because, uh, do you see any kind of optical drive anywhere around here? No, because it's tucked away in a drawer. I'm not really using it all that much anymore for storage. So, uh, the hutch, it is awesome. I love this hutch, and, uh, and as a matter of fact, I, I'm not exactly going in order here, but I don't want to forget, uh, over on this side behind me, the, uh, this desk is the same desk as this desk, and uh, it's been here pretty much from the beginning. I uh, don't have a hutch over here. I've got the three screens that were once connected to an Ifinity setup. I'll probably be giving these away uh, to the patrons at that certain pledge level. Just a random gift that I've given over time, randomly, hence it being random. Or they may end up being gifts as a giveaway in terms of our conference that we're planning or an expo. An event for YouTubing geeks and nerds. That's right. This year, Gnome Dex is coming back. Cannot wait to see you there. And an event that really hasn't happened yet. And I've talked to a few other geeks and nerds out there who do YouTube stuff, and they're quite excited about it as well. So these monitors currently are not connected to anything. So they're going to go, because I'm not really using them for anything. And anybody who comes along to do anything in my workshop with me uh, usually brings their own computer. And more than anything, the computer they usually bring along is, well, yeah, it might be a laptop, but more often than not, it's a tablet type of computer. And so right now, I kind of have some tablets uh, tucked away underneath the screens right now. And, oh, is there a tablet over there? No, there is not. But plenty of Vader stuff and uh, Chris Perillo Muppet and my first Justin Hillgrove. So uh, one of the 
things that I want to do at some point this year, probably sooner rather than later, is get that same hutch and or the same model and then have it uh, or place it on top of this desk and uh, you know do other things there. The painting is probably going to have to get removed though. I don't think it'll fit up above. There's one register that keeps the room cool. The other register's got a, a redirector, which is kind of important. As I'm pointing up on the ceiling here, and don't worry, I will go in deeper on, on some of the uh, stuff that I have on the shelves. And all this stuff really does mean something to me. And mostly, no batteries are required, which thrills me to death. I, I like uh, surrounding myself with things that make me happy, not with things that frustrate the hell out of me. The idea behind these types of fixtures all around the office, uh, twofold. One, they look cool. Uh, and more than anything, I need light for when I do video, usually live video from that camera, uh, you know, to this desk over here, you know, the iconic view right there, or specifically with the ticks clocks. Um, so I had, and I don't know if I did this last year or over the past year, I can't remember, but uh, there are diffusers that I've taped on in a rather sloppy fashion uh, to the front, uh, if only to bounce light, not just to diffuse light down to where I might be, best optimized, to reduce shadows hard shadows, uh, but also to bounce light onto the shelving and uh, the uh, fun, collectible, mostly Vader things that I have around me. Not all Vader, you'd be surprised. Um, this is probably the most radical departure from workshop design that I've had over the years. And I was really kind of surprised that I saw so much negativity from alleged geeks and nerds uh, because I didn't really have things that they thought were interesting. But this is not their workshop tour. So hopefully you appreciate uh, the effort more than anything. Even though this may not be how you choose to decorate your world, this is how I choose to decorate mine, and I love it. Yay. Uh, okay, so where should I go next? Yeah, speaker, surround sound, connected to the iMac with a Toslink cable. Uh, I am going to be working on um, removing that color form sticker that's currently in front of the Apple logo. Um, some people you know, are surprised that I would cover up the logo, but honestly, just, it's not something that I, I, I think is the value of having the iMac. I don't care about logos as much as other people might. Everybody's different. Um, but I've got some kind of, a, a material that they use for car, car modding that I'm going to place uh, potentially on the bezel on the iMac that will, uh, I hope make it, uh, a bit more seamless than that. That's a little, it's jarring just that, but it's, it's, it, it, it makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about, really. If you can't be happy in your space, man, you're doing it wrong. Just be happy in whatever space you choose. Okay, let's see if I can get up there as close as I can. Uh, a lot of collectibles from a variety of sources uh, collected over the years, uh, some new, uh, some slightly older from across the way. You know, when it comes to collecting, I, I do like collecting a lot of things, obviously. Fan of Star Wars, have been pretty much all my life. And... Um, or at least as, mostly as, as, as long as Star Wars has been around. Um, the ceiling right here in the workshop and through most of the upstairs is going to be replaced in less than a week's time. And as a part of uh, what's going to happen, yes, the ceiling is being replaced, but I have to clear off a lot of the top shelves around the workshop, uh, if only because the collect they're collectibles and I think everything on the shelving should be fine. But um, the, uh, uh, the, the, the workshop, as you see it right now with the collectibles, may most likely change between now and the time that you see my workshop again, possibly in the Daily Perillo vlog, which is now launching in its own separate channel. As a matter of fact, though I recorded this video on New Year's Day, I don't know if it's going to be published for the world, apart from the patron exclusive, viewing it ahead of time without the ads, uh, I am going to be uh, uh, putting this video in the classic YouTube channel as it relaunches specifically with the CPU series of fun edited videos thanks in large part to the people who have stepped forward and become patrons. And uh, they've allowed me to kind of expand my tiny team. Got some cups. I love those. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's a surprise of just how much of this is, is done. And I expect Star Wars to get even bigger in the coming years. And a lot of Vader stuff. Vader is very popular for merchandising. Two of these cups are, are recent gifts. And there's a, the classic Kenner figure as well as the large or jumbo figure. It looked a lot like the original. That's an AFA graded Darth Vader 12 back. Doesn't have a, it has a telescoping saber, but not a double. Uh, there is an autographed lithograph, photograph of Darth Vader. 
or Dave Prowse, who played Darth Vader, or it was the, uh, the actor inside of Darth Vader's uniform. I've got a laser keyboard there, even though I don't think it's got any juice in it. If it does have juice, then I'll, I'll beam the, uh, the keyboard onto the ceiling. <laughs> it's because it's kind of fun. I like lasery, glowy things. I still do. The problem is, is that if you have too many of those things around, they kind of lose their charge pretty quickly. And you have to keep them charged. And uh, wow, that's a lot of charging that I don't want to go through. So that tends to be why I don't have a lot of glowing gadgets. Because I've actually gone through uh, and eliminated a lot of wiring and uh, that, that's in the office. Obviously, I have certain things that need to be wired and cabled. But I've eliminated a lot of it. Uh, before I forget, again, like I said, I'm kind of jumping around in no particular order. I never promised that I would go in any particular order, not going by an outline. What's missing? You might remember pretty much from the very beginning I had a, a runner protecting cords and cables going from uh, this side of the workshop to the other side. And it was connecting some computers in a wired capacity as well as cameras. And I had no other way of, of, of managing it effectively. And uh, that's been eliminated. I had a mountain of cables that I eliminated uh, in recent months and was really happy about uh, that, not just with the removable, uh, removable, move, uh, the move away from the Mac Pro, which used to sit over there. Uh, it's pretty much been replaced by that. I, I believe in having a clean environment, as clean as possible. And a lot of people might view what I collect as clutter. I do not. I find every bit and every piece um, you know, piece of happiness. Um, it's not just a piece of plastic to me. It's a memory. Every one of them. And I appreciate it. And not everything's plastic because I have books too. <laughs> uh, but you can see I, I, do, I do my best. I've done my best to kind of uh, declutter. And uh, even when I have to run cabling, I like uh, keeping things covered. The area behind the desk. I hate doing this, especially right now. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time back there. Ew. Not too many cables, so it probably wouldn't take me too long to get them better organized, but there's not really much I can do back here, necessarily. Those are the light ones. Still love those. And a lightsaber attached to the wall. You can turn it on. I'm not going to do that because it emits a sound and everything. And I'm not going to, you know, ooh, it's a sound. Hey, it's a gigantic Darth Vader with, uh, this is a Mickey Mouse Vader hat that can be removed. It's just that I have it there because it's fun. Uh, lightsaber on that one, some uh, Darth Vader cases and carrying kits and what have you. This is the Vader that uh, the dogs get to chew on. Just about the only Vader I want them to chew on, and usually the only one they do chew on. The only other one that they might chew on is the dog bed over there, and you'll find Wicket and Pixie sometimes over there in the Perilla vlogs. There's Vader up against the cabinet. The uh, new Vader that's on the floor right now is this one here. This was a gift from either Santa Claus or Diana. I can't remember which, but uh, right now, he is there, it is there, leaning up uh, against a Lego brick storage container uh, with uh, Angry Birds. I think I thought that was the Angry Birds one. It's not. Oh, man. I, I, I think I've got the Angry Birds case somewhere else. Okay, cool. Uh, and a Darth Vader soap dispenser. In these Lego storage containing units, little stair steps, which I'll never use, I've got the blind bags that I'm going to be opening in CPU in the bottom brick, because I've got a lot of them in there. I've got a Darth Vader rolly suitcase wheel thing, which is cool. You know how I like things that glow? Let's see if I can capture it here. Is it gonna, there we go. Can you see the lights on the wheels? And it's kind of hard to perceive. Sorry, did my best. As you roll, the uh, wheels illuminate with red LEDs. Inside of this particular storage container, are a whole bunch of Lego sets. This is pretty much all Lego stuff, including all the Mixels, and loose pieces and poly bags that I have duplicates of in here, um, mini figures that I have duplicates of, but all the extra bricks that I get from sets that don't get showcased anywhere end up in here. And yeah, so if you always wondered where do all those pieces go, I keep the special cases in, in this particular Lego container, but they, uh, they're right here. And I've got room for more. Plenty of room for more. And it's nice because, uh, yeah, this bench doubles as a storage container. I like that. I like uh, optimizing space wherever I possibly can. I have the cords and cables coming from the camera. Uh, I've got them right now duct taped underneath the, uh, the ridge there on the desk. And it seems to work uh, well enough. That is the vlog camera, the one that I'm currently using. 
I moved the shotgun mic away from the hot shoe because I was having too many shadows, especially on up close, because I'm really close to this camera, which makes things a bit tricky uh, when I'm shooting. But having the shotgun there hasn't really impacted anything at all in terms of how I'm using it. So it eliminated some shadows, which I was happy about for the most part. Having this is, is a bit tricky though. Um, this second camera here, webcam, is for behind the scenes, scenes? <laughs> scenes, live streaming. So what we're doing now with the edited video, as I may have referred to at the beginning of this video, uh, every weekday we're gonna be producing a different uh, uh, edited video of something that I find amazing or interesting called CPU, Chris Perillo, you decide what the U is short for because you are genuinely the only U I do care about because the U could be anything. We just want to make it flexible and it's the world of Chris Perillo more than anything. So yeah, it could be Chris Perillo's universe, but I, I just like the U is the only U I care about. I'm sticking with that for right now because it's just true. I mean, without you, I don't know if I would be as good a me as I've been. You kind of pushed me to do better. So I appreciate that. So the patrons get to watch not just the edited video when it's done, but they get to watch behind the scenes. So I record the live video, I dump it live from that camera into this computer, and then this camera streams it. So people can see, you know, how many times I have to go over something over and over until I get the take right. Everybody gets to watch the produced video, which may be like two to five minutes long, but the, the, the behind the scenes, they get to watch, you know, a half hour to 45 minutes of me going through everything that goes into a, a video that's produced. So it's like massive amounts of behind the scenes. Again, a, a daily bonus for the patrons, a ton of stuff that I'm doing anyway, that I'm just giving you more access to me. I'm not, I'm not holding anything back. I'm just doing more for people who are doing more. I'm not trying to be heavy handed with it. I'm just explaining that there are all, there's a lot. It's not just seeing something live. It's just getting, getting more insight into, into me. And, and I know I've provided a lot of inspiration as, or so I've been told over the years. Uh, so I'm just, you know, opening my doors a little more. So that's why that camera is specifically mounted there. Um, this is the computer I use usually to, uh, live stream sometimes for hangouts as well. Uh, I've got another microphone that I'll sometimes attach or I'm trying to get into the habit of attaching for the podcast though. I'm also looking for a way to possibly mount uh, a microphone to the a clamp to the edge of the desk and then have it over with a shock mount so that there can always be a mic right here, but not always be kind of in the way. And uh, technology to me works best when it's not in your face. And so I prefer to have technology and surround myself with technology, but not have it in your face. I just want it to disappear. I want it to melt away. And so I'm looking for that kind of option to get better quality audio for the uh, those recordings. I moved the Caddy uh, from, well, where it has been for for a number of years since I got it, I believe, right here, from right here to over here. And it just worked. I just moved it there. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that kind of works because I'm in this area and I'm needing to do something. I grab a pen, grab some scissors, uh, what have you. Uh, we had posted a deal uh, for this, helping you save money on a, an LED bank that you can modify and change colors on by way of a, a mobile app. Uh, to the deals website, deals.lockernome.com. Oh, and before I forget, so you see a lot of stuff in here, right? A lot is gifts, yes. And if I happen to get something by way of uh, Amazon, it's not that I'm using money. So the patronage actually goes to support my team and to expand that team. I exchange Amazon gift cards that I earn by way of go.tagjag.com slash free apps and go.tagjag.com slash free points. So you can't sit there and say, ah, oh, he just uses the money for toys. No, he does not. He converts his Amazon gift cards. And you can start earning gift cards too, by the way, for Amazon stuff and iTunes stuff and Google Play stuff and a whole bunch of other stuff that you're probably going to want to get anyway. So there's a little bonus tip for everybody. Start earning the things that you love and it won't cost you anything. I keep my extra brick separators in here right now as well as a whole bunch of other things that don't really go anywhere, like the lens cap which I don't use all that often on that camera. It's got a wide angle lens attached. Uh, some iPad stuff, there's the uh, remote control for the camera, a washer that I have no idea where it goes to. Uh, some other accessories like the uh, lav mic for uh, the phone, a utility knife that's got Darth Vader on it that someone had sent, thank you very much. Uh, LED bank that I don't use all that often but could attach to the phone because now I'm just using the torch on the phone. Sorry, I shouldn't shouldn't wobble the phone too much, especially since I know uh, you're watching and I don't want to get you motion sick. So hopefully the, everything is going as smoothly as it can be and it's cropping as it should. Uh, let's see here. I uh, got a little slinky there. That was a gift in my stocking. Right now it's there because I like playing with things every so often, including flarp. I'm not going to flarp in this video. Although I will tell you that flarping video has been my most popular Facebook video ever. 
So I might upload a flarping bit of footage somewhere. I don't somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, okay, so where can I go from here? Oh, that that Vader mask I have there. Uh, it's got uh, sounds on it and everything. But if I'm doing a scene where I need to do a Darth Vader, I'll just put it on, press a button, and I turn into Darth Vader. And he's there, and he's a nice piece to, to place there to not just fill up space, um, I, but I'd likely be starting to move some taller Darth Vader objects behind the computer, um, you know, just just to have there, because I, I love it so much. And let's see here, so I already covered all that. Uh, up here, yeah, some fun stuff, including the new Hot Wheels. That's this, uh, the, uh, the different set that's got the exclusive Stormtrooper vehicle. Uh, Vader, one of the Vader Pez dispensers with sound, a cap... In uh, an Easter bucket, one side is a Vader. There's a, a Darth Vader, uh, like a, a ball kind of thing. Uh, this Vader, I was afraid, was always going to get knocked down. Oh, I'm sorry, the ball thing is, is back there, if you couldn't tell. Uh, so I think I've got, like, fun tack. He's tacked on that I'm going to have to remove when, uh, in a couple days because the ceiling's coming down. Uh, there is the Star Wars tech deck. Uh, it's Darth Vader on a skateboard. See, the, you know, even though I collect a lot of Star Wars stuff, I, I tr I'm trying to... I'm not worried about organizing a lot of this right now because, like I said, things are going to get moved around. Um, I, I'm sticking to Darth Vader because of well, pretty much this guy. This is, uh, this is the one... It was a gift. This one right here. That's the original uh, Kenner figure, uh, 1977. Again, not a double telescoping uh, lightsaber. Pretty good condition, not amazing, not AFA graded, but in decent condition, and it was a gift. So you can thank someone who gave me a gift, uh, and, and I said, you know, I can't just have one Vader. There's got to be other Vaders, and so I went from that Vader and expanded it and then got the Lego Darth Vader, not that one. That's a special one. You can see he's got the medallion. Uh, that Vader right there, I believe, was the second Vader that I had in my collection, and then, of course, it just exploded last year, like, Boom, exploded. Because I realized, um, uh, you know, not just a, back here in, in past years, I had a whole bunch of crap, junk, gadget, tech stuff that no longer worked, was was cute, may have been used once or twice, but ultimately it was just like, eh, this is just not inspirational at all. I'm not excited when I see this. I just look at, uh, I looked at a lot of stuff that was back here and went, eh, except for up here. And, I, and this is where I had a lot of the figures that I was uh, putting together at the time. I'm like, you know, I could probably display them better. So I got these little shelves, like stepping shelves that went up. And so a lot of the original uh, Darth Vaders are here in various poses and positions. And, you know, I'm a, I'm a different kind of collector. Yeah, I'm going to have fun with this stuff. And some of the stuff, yes, is going to stay in the boxes, you know, especially with duplicates. But, you know, I also want to take them out and play with them and, you know, you know check out the paint and the sculpts and the points of articulation. And you can see the uh, the 3D printed Chris Perlow head on the Vader back there as well. It's kind of fun. Although I should probably move him down, uh, down below and I'll, I'll get to that, uh, I think, in a second. Or I probably should. I'm just going to skip around. I'm going to do it. Uh, this is my ego shelf. So over the years, I've uh, uh, picked up things or people have sent things or given me things that are, that are personal or personalized, and uh, they end up here, um, you know, with a couple of exceptions. The, the Darth Vader uh, Mickey Mouse is one of the exceptions, but I have it on a throwboy pillow custom for me. Used to be able to buy those. I don't know if you can anymore, the, uh, the custom locker room pillows. No one was really interested. So like, oh, I, I didn't really do a lot of merchandising because it really didn't seem to take off. I, I have a stack of Garbage Pell Kids 2014 Series 2 that I have not yet put into uh, the binders. I'm hopefully, hopefully going to have time to do that at some point. A 3D printed bobblehead Chris. I tried to do that with another app, and apparently I did it wrong, so, you know, I, it just didn't work. Uh, I am the Vlogger Fair World Heavyweight Vloggers Champion, according to Tommy NC 2010. The Locker Gnome Mouse Pads, which we sold eons ago. Jones Soda did a custom Gnome Dex soda and um, i don't know if we're going to be able to get them at the uh, gnome decks reboot event but we'll see some uh, fan art that i've collected over the years you know specifically or, you know around me or my face or my likeness uh the uh chris perillo custom lego home office as it stood at one point in time um now i don't have two screens i have or just one but eh, it's, I, i'm fine with just remembering having two screens there I've got the Chris Perillo action figure, which is nothing more than just a the 3D printed head on some other kind of doll. Not just doll, action figure. And uh, other things that are egoish. And I thought it would be fun to, you know, have a bigger place uh, for everything there because what happens is sometimes when I'm doing, and I'm sorry if I'm making everybody dizzy, sometimes if I'm doing broadcasts from here, like a hangout, 
uh, people are seeing kind of what's behind me. So they get a view of, as I walk and spin, they get to see everything back there. So you can see it's Darth Vader, and they get to see my arcade cabinet, and they get to see the desk over there possibly, and some artwork hanging up. But, you know, back there, it's just, it's a personalized shelf. And it's kind of in the distance, so it's kind of just a, you know, background. But uh, still, uh, you know, I thought it'd be nice to have my ego shelf there. Okay, back to over here. Let's see here. So we were up there. I was showing you some things up there. And then on this shelf, another uh, stack of stuff. This was the first... Oh, sorry, Vader. I put you there. I don't know why I put you on this shelf instead of the other one, but hey, you're there for now. Uh, this was the first 3D printed object that uh, Barnacle's Nerdgasm did for me. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, he's uh, another one of the things that uh, was amazing uh, to have in my life in uh, the past year. And that was the first. This was the second and original Jerry Barnacle's Nerdgasm printed, 3D printed Darth Vader. He's right there. And he's pretty much, you can't necessarily see him all the time, but he's pretty much in a lot of the videos that I shoot live. But since everything's so dark, it just kind of fades into the background. But he is there. Uh, I've got a, a little painted doll, original. I like original Vader stuff, not just uh, stuff that you can get uh, from the store. Some stuffed animals. Uh, so stuff Vader's, <laughs> uh, you know, other things like decals, uh, shampoo, a figure that I got uh, pretty affordably because it was from the Power of the Force series, which wasn't that popular. The Darth Vader iPhone case. I'd be surprised. I mean, there there are some older Vader merch or pieces that I don't have, but I didn't know existed. Sometimes I only find out about things because of random searches or for people tell me. But as soon as I found out that there was a Star Wars serial, not C-3PO's, this was uh, newer or part of the uh, uh, the prequels when they were released for merchandising, a Darth Vader on uh, cereal. I'm like, I had to have it. And yes, this is a full box with cereal inside, unopened. Uh, that, that to me is, that is a collector's item. This, this box of cereal, I'm telling you, is going to be worth Far more than the camera I'm using to record this video right now, uh, especially if I keep it in pretty good condition. There's a Darth Vader uh, thermos back there from around Easter, Darth Vader bunny, uh, the comic series there, uh, well at least when Dark Horse was doing comics with Star Wars and that just stopped happening today. Uh, which is uh, on New Year's Day. Uh, the uh, William Shakespeare, uh, The Empire Strikes Back. Uh, if William Shakespeare wrote The Empire Strikes Back, it would have been this. And the reason why I have that there is because Vader's on the cover. And uh, a couple of other things, like a room alarm detector, kind of fun. Down here, we have some Valentine's Day stuff, some uh, Darth Vader Jelly Belly Galaxy mixes. Uh, this is from uh, Sideshow Collectibles as a part of the, uh, the higher quality Darth Vader which you will see as we continue to that part of the office. The Darth Vader Hot Wheels, since I've had a few of them, I ended up taking one out of the package. And so I was playing with that and I was having fun. A notebook, a 3D watch, who's your daddy? I just love this stuff. I love it! Uh, Darth Vader Child's Plate. There's some candy in here, Darth Vader-shaped candy, uh, in this Valentine's Day with, uh, like, those aren't diamonds. They're just, like, you know, uh, gems. Not real, real gems, just, you know, junk gems, you know? But it's in the shape of Darth Vader, and I've got stuff on top of it right now. Uh, and uh, more from years past uh, Valentine stuff. One of my favorite gifts uh, of all time is this Darth Vader custom that Jasmine and Slav, who are also fellow vloggers, uh, they gave me uh, for my birthday. And I love this. It's Batman meets uh, Darth Vader. It's a custom mashup. And it's very, it's unique. It's a one of a kind, and I love it. Uh, I find Dar Darth Vader merch all over the place. I think this, I just got uh, the other day, a bubble bath, but it's in a rather unique shape. I thought about getting um, uh, like several of them, like uh, 10 of them, and then using them as bowling pins, <laughs> just for fun. Uh, really, you know, really, really kind of uh, cheap in the sense that, you know, they're really affordable and, and great for the collection. This is another part of the, uh, the Sideshow Collectibles Darth Vader recent one that was uh, produced over the past year. Um, there's the silver, one of the silver Darth Vaders, not the one that was more rare. I'll, I'll probably show you that in a second. Uh, I believe this is one of those uh, classic, uh, not just a Darth Vader figure, but um, uh, part of a series. Very, very low cost. And I, ended up, I think I have like 14, not 14, four of them. I might as well have 14 of them. A different Darth Vader uh, tumbler. It's got Darth Vader on each side. A Darth Vader lightsaber pen. Uh, another cup mug thing. Some uh, uh, coasters, I believe. Uh, and then the uh, the bottle opener, which I might use in CPU when I'm opening a stout or a porter. And it does have Darth Vader sounds in there. Next shelf, currently, as I get down on one knee and say, will you marry me? No, I'm already married very happily. In fact, uh, one of the gifts for my wife this past year, Diana, thank you for the Darth Vader wallet I did not have. Uh, from that same sideshow uh, uh, toy, uh, sideshow, they uh, 
they, they, they have a series of collectibles, and I have a few of them. But uh, the uh, and I'm sorry if I'm tripping up on words or language. I'm, I've been talking almost nonstop for about a half hour now. Not to mention the other four live videos I've done today. Woo! That's that's a great weekday to have. I tell you, uh, this is a part of the base that does illuminate uh, the Imperial insignia, uh, which is not turned on. I don't even know if I, I left the batteries in. I, I'm always afraid that I'm going to leave batteries in and something's going to uh, to get destroyed. Um, but I have two Darth Vader wallets. They usually make custom Vaders around uh, the major U.S. holidays. This is one from Valentine's Day. Uh, this pixel art was custom. I ended up getting it on Etsy. I found someone who does pixel art, and he would customize your name so you can have a character standing on top of your name, and I thought it was perfect. I love pixels. I love pixel art. I'm a huge fan of all that, uh, and so I ended up getting that. The character I just moved here... I guess uh, this was a, a bonus for, for uh, Star Wars shoes that I showed off in the vlog when I got them. If you ordered at a certain time, you either got a Boba Fett or Darth Vader at random. And I'm lucky. I got the Vader, which is the one I wanted. And uh, he's he's a skateboard. It's a skating, uh, skating Darth Vader. Uh, back there, uh, we've got a, a different looking Darth Vader from the Infinity series. And I love that. I'm not going to ever open that package either. Uh, there is the one of the speakers from the surround sound. There's the subwoofer, by the way. Uh, one of the mugs that I have, I am your father. I have a, a couple. This one I don't drink out of, though. This one is just going to stay there. Puzzle that's likely not going to get unboxed with a thousand pieces. I might buy a duplicate eventually, if only when Jedi gets older. Okay, so this is an exciting shelf as well. Uh, over the past year, someone was getting rid of a lot of their old Star Wars figures, and so I went through and uh, just got the Darth Vader stuff that he had that where the cards were in decent condition. And so a lot of these I had already unboxed, and or at least removed from the packaging and put up there on that shelf. You know, not to count the uh, the ones I have up there; those are obviously in boxes. Oh yeah, look, stockings. Unique Darth Vader stockings. Did you know there was this many Darth Vader things? And you know what? They are priceless. Absolutely priceless. Um, so this back here is a Darth Vader lightsaber. or It looks like, well, yeah, lightsaber, but it's also, I believe, a flashlight uh, that's still in the packaging. Some other things back there, like the uh, different Darth Vader figures. This is the uh, Toast Stamp Darth Vader. Still in package. If I wanted to go that far, I might get a second one to be able to use. Compendiums from the Dark Horse series of the Darth Vader series. Uh, you know, in between. Uh, amazing stories, amazing artwork. The complete Vader, naturally, and then the dark side. The reason why this is here is because Darth Vader is on the cover, though the exclusive minifigure was not Darth Vader. It was actually uh, the Emperor. This is awesome. I, this is my most recent acquisition, and I'm so, 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 so taken aback with this. Uh, Darth Vader you know, is said to been, have been inspired, or at least the design inspired by Samurai. And so Bandai just recently, this is new, like it, they just released this, uh, the Samurai Taisho Darth Vader, and if my pronunciation is really horrible, I apologize, because English is my primary language. So the figure is posable, movable, uh, you've got parts and various things, and uh, this, is, this is one of those things that I don't know if I ever want to remove it from the packaging, because this is going to be very, very, very valuable, and I might eventually... Remove it from the packaging if I get uh, really serious, because uh, you didn't think this was serious enough, with uh, what I have because, you know, if I got glass partitions, and I haven't gone that far in the office yet. Um, I probably could, but I haven't done that yet. Uh, but I, I, I definitely am I'm thrilled to have this in the collection. In fact, I, I'm thinking about getting a second one, uh, you know, saving my Amazon gift cards up uh, to get a second one to remove from the packaging because, wow. Uh, amazing. So yes, I, I have seen that in case you were wondering. Down below, I've got my flashlight right here in a trusty place that I can grab at a moment's notice should something happen. Uh, more packaging with Darth Vader in it, uh, or figures. Uh, not really unique sculpts, but the, uh, the sets themselves are unique. There is another one of the Darth Vader Transformers. I've got uh, Darth Vader Transformers scattered about uh, the workshop here. Uh, another thing that might very well happen uh, when I do the reorg here in a few weeks because of the ceiling kind of disappearing is uh, putting all the Darth Vader books together. Yes, I do have Vader's Little Princess. People were wondering because of Jedi. And uh, you might have caught in the Christmas vlog that I gave her the very limited edition statuette of uh, Princess Leia basically holding on to uh, Darth Vader and having cut little hearts out of Darth Vader's cloak because Jedi is my little princess, and I am her Vader. And Vader, by the way, means father. Don't know if you knew that. I may be mispronouncing it, but it is spelled V-A-D-E-R. For real, I think it's Dutch. Uh, then I have the Darth Vader and Son, and Goodnight Darth Vader, straight from the Force's mouth, autographed by Dave Prowse. It's insanely easy to get 
Dave's uh, autograph. If you want Darth Vader, the guy who played, the, I guess, the, the inside of Darth Vader's uniform costume, if you want to get his autograph, it's really, really easy to do. Just head over to his website um, or follow him on Twitter. Is Darth Vader. Uh, nice guy. So uh, then I have the, the, Dar the Vader Project auction collection from Freeman's. Uh, this has got a series of, uh, I'm just going to pull it out very careful here. I'm going to have to do that, redo that anyway. So a series of artists basically went and they modded uh, Vader in various ways. You've probably seen these pictures floating around the internet. Every once in a while, someone will send me one. Hey, have you seen this? Yeah, I have, absolutely. These were all auctioned off. They're no longer available, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, but uh, I, I think this was a gift from Throwboy. Roberto Hoyos, uh, and uh, it's it's just a nice uh, art. I mean, there, look at Samurai Vader, love it. Um, an amazing, uh, amazing array of art and interpretations of Vader's helmet it is so iconic. Uh, but yes, uh, this is the the book that I guess that was the auction book against which uh, people purchased from. Not exactly in great condition. The corners kind of chewed, but you know I'm not you know losing sleep over it. There's the uh, Darth Vader uh, fold out book of sorts if I could call it that, or a 3D reconstruction log, which is really kind of neat as you peel away the layers of Vader, uh, you know, different parts of him disappear, and you learn a lot more about uh, what uh, components go into Darth Vader, including on his chest plate and what have you. Uh, I'm always reminded when I see the chest plate of that Triumph the Comic Dog, like, which one of these buttons calls your mother to come and pick you up? Or something like that. Uh, that was, by the way, original pixel art. This is a bottle opener. Not that I needed another bottle opener. Uh, subwoofer underneath here, uh, since I don't like a lot of clutter, uh, this is where I keep a, a, a longer extension cord. So as people are visiting here, if I need to pull something out, I don't need to dive behind anything. I just kind of kick it under there. Look at that. Out of sight, out of mind. Clean. Clean. <laughs> uh, oh, look at this. Hey, we're just going to the desk for a bit. This is how clean I am. Uh, there's the stool that I use, set stuff on, cords and cables and extra stuff kind of go in that little bin. I've got a cord organizer so things aren't flying all over the place. Over here, this key, actually, oh my gosh, this keyboard can go. This keyboard can't. This is controlling the Google TV across the, the way there. Um, that's that's what that is. That's the remote control for the TV as well. Used to have other accessories here, but kind of got uh, rid of a lot of that stuff that just no longer worked. Uh, this was the classic Mac keyboard that controlled the Mac Mini, which is over there, which is another one of those things that I'm going to be giving away to either one of the patrons when we reach a thousand true patrons uh, or uh, a giveaway at Gnome Dex, potentially. Hope to see you there. I really do. It's going to kind of be like the vlogger fair for geeks. How do I explain it? It's like it's not just tech geeks, but it's like, you know, you know, uh, pop, nerdy culture, pop culture geeks, Minecraft geeks, Lego toy geeks, Star Wars geeks, all just all sorts of geeks who do things on YouTube. And I think bringing them all together, bringing you all together should be fun. Uh, let's go ahead and pop up. Oh, yes. Darth Vader mouse pad. I, I have to use a mouse pad. <laughs> Some people think you can't or you don't use mouse pads anymore. I, I have to because um, the surface kind of reflects and I don't get as, as good a, a tracking on there. And I'm not, you know, you know me, or you should. If you're watching this deeply into the video, I don't do a lot of uh, hardcore gaming that other people might. So uh, Apple's products work just fine for me. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and... Okay, I guess I showed you that from down below, but there's some more Darth Vader stocking stuff designed differently. Each one of them. Uh, that's a, a dog, uh, not collar, but a walking chain kind of thing. Uh, Vader wrist thing. <laughs> a dog toy there. It's an elongated Vader. Uh, a Vader backpack shaped like Vader. This light still works, but I just never turn it on. Just because I don't need to. And back here, ooh, looks like I got a dust. I got a Viewmaster reel. Uh, some classic, uh, um, I guess, uh, the Comtech chips with some uh, uh, that were included in some earlier figures. Darth Vader cards that I might get over time kind of go in that pile. Um, there's a Darth Vader Shrinky Dink that I made in that Shrinky Dinks video, Perillo Picks, a while ago. If you missed that, it was a, I thought it was pretty good. I like doing Perillo Picks, so that's what CPU is kind of based on right now. Darth Vader torch lamp thing. I can, I can, there we go. Did I get it? Yeah, okay, he's on. He illuminated himself. And... He, well, he didn't illuminate himself. The uh, LEDs on the other side of that saber or what were uh, what was illuminating him. What were? Uh, that is an original Marvel Star Wars comic right there. Darth Vader. And uh, that's that's he's there on display because Vader's there. Uh, Shadows of the Empire. Well, Vader was in that series in Prince Zizor on the other side. There's Izor. 
however you want to pronounce him. I don't care. A, a Star Wars collector's tin, a key with Vader on it, a lot of collector's coins, and uh, the, the coins collected from across the galaxy, they're all Darth Vader imprinted in some way, shape, or form, or have Darth Vader on them. A Darth Vader ornament, very, very delicate, a gold embossed card, not real gold that I know of, uh, some slides that I don't think I'll ever use, some uh, unique pieces too, uh, the titanium die cast which I didn't have out of package. Not in great condition, but still decent. And a Darth Vader uh, toothbrush, not available in the U.S. I believe only in Japan, so that's where he's currently sitting. There's the Ego shelf again. And if you were wondering, yes, this is a brick. This is a Lego brick that's also a name badge. Kind of neat. And uh, yes, a uh, locker now on a USB drive. When two gigs was huge, right there. Uh, a coin, a Chris Perillo coin that nobody wants to collect. Uh, stuff in here that... I don't think is interesting at all. Uh, it, you know, like paper towels, bleh, paper, which I don't need because there's no printer in the office. I don't print a lot of stuff out anymore and then other uh, equipment that I might need on a moment's notice. Uh, the Darth Vader dog bed that the dogs use frequently. Okay, you already kind of saw the Ego shelf, so I'm going to jump up here. A lot of smaller components uh, and deeper components are on this shelf. Very, very unique in every way from tiny, 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 tiny Vaders, including one that's falling over. Ah! I do believe I've got the Micro Machine Vaders as well. This one's kind of difficult to stand up. Sorry, you're not seeing that. I'm just cropping it out. Come on, Vader stand. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's an Iron Patch. Many, 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 many Vaders. Oh, back there, a couple of Transformer Vaders. There's the Titanium die cast. Uh, that one designed differently, though. Angry Birds uh, stress thingy. Uh, yes, Vader, Tater Vader, Darth Tater. <laughs> um, various pins. Although this pin might belong somewhere else, and I'll get to that in a bit. Um, a lot of Darth Vader things, as you can see. Yeah. Unique things. Small things. Usually, if I've removed them from a package, or, you know, the packaging kind of sucked to begin with, this is where they go. Uh, you know, yes, there is going to come a time where I'm going to have to go through an extreme dusting of what's here. There's fan art back there. That was done by one of you. The Darth Vader there, and that's where it went. That's where it went. Uh, this is a, a mishmash of Vader stuff that didn't really go anywhere else, and some smaller things. I thought worked well on the shelf. Up here, uh, most of the, the figures, the classic figures, uh, or at least the kinds of figures that I grew up with, uh, certainly most of the figures that were released up here, and I hesitate to move this guy, even though I see this Vader's kind of tilted over. Come on, stand up. Bend. Come on, can you do that? Can you do that for me? Thanks. That'd be great. Uh, most of the figures that I would have collected as a kid were like this. And so the newer figures are just different, different sculpts, um, you know, different points of articulation, different uh, colored uh, lightsabers, and, uh, you know, from a variety of scenes from across the movies, all, well, I'd say four of them, really, not just six, because Vader was really only in, uh, or this design of Vader was really only in four of the Star Wars movies at this point. Um, and so I, I believe I've, in, in some way, shape, or form, whether it's still in a box or out of the box, I have pretty much every one of the Darth Vader figures that are at this scale, and this is my favorite scale of all action figure scales because it's to me it's a classic. I always liked it. It's what I kind of grew up on. So this is the mostly the Vader figures shelf, and you you'll probably see other Vader figures floating around up here. I mean that would belong in that shelf, but aren't there right now. Up here, a lot of the Vader's still in the box. You'll see duplicates, uh, or likely will see duplicates. Uh, this is where they've gone to this point, and I'm fine with that. They will be moved around here really, really, really soon. Uh, you know, you'd be surprised. I, I do dust every so often, not as often as I should, but um, you know, sometimes if I accidentally knock the, the cabinet, one might fall, but it, generally speaking, it doesn't happen. The cabinet I knock most is that one. <laughs> it's, I'm always like backing up accidentally, boom, and then just, oh, psh, but like one thing falls, and it's usually the uh, the 3D printed Vader, which isn't incredibly stable. Uh, I kind of talked about this desk already, but uh, this is one of the cheapy Anakin Skywalker uh, Vader conversion doll things. Um, every once in a while, the helmet will just automatically pop off on its own. I'm like, oh, okay, well, he just stands there right now guarding whatever needs to be guarded over here. Uh, yes, I do know about the tall Vader. People have asked so many times, have you seen the tall 30-inch Vader? I'm like, yes, I have. And he's got a variety of objects hanging off, including... I knew you just couldn't stay still. Okay. I should not... This is why <laughs> I should not remove things from boxes and why I should not have fiddled with him right now. I'm just going to go ahead and set that there. All the pieces. I'll get to you when I'm done. 
Uh, so yes, I know the tall Vader and you, you've got various points of articulation on here. The arms kind of swivel up and down and the, the, the fists kind of rotate around. Uh, this is an air freshener, which is since given out a custom Darth Vader or ornament, uh, bear brick or brick bear. It's a series that uh, isn't very popular in the U S but for collectors it is. Um, and Vader stands guard holding on to this particular dog toy, which will never be used as a dog toy. I thought it's nice to have him here standing right there because as, as I said uh, you know when I'm shooting video that direction which I don't do all that often uh, if only because I haven't found a webcam that really works supremely well or you know getting a camera there that, that would work for my needs uh, having something back here that just looks fun and you know having Vader kind of outreaching like yes come join me as you watch me in video uh, yes with the Disney crossover before the acquisition uh, Goofy was Darth Vader and you'll see some Goofy Darth Vader stuff I have behind there right now uh, an extra or duplicate transformer that I have in box of a Darth Vader transformer right there you wonder if I know yes I do this uh, this one was a gift but I, I didn't think I had another one but there's actually the, the same one is back there on the hutch so right now this is here it will get moved around as I was saying um, you know I'm in the process of kind of reorganizing uh, over here, even though I have in the grommet uh, USB, this is like a slower USB. It's kind of neat. I don't know if you knew that you can get like USB grommets, but it just it didn't power everything I needed. And I recently unboxed a series of Anchor products uh, for for you. You you saw them, uh, or you should have seen that video. This is like what a seventy watts USB charger. It's got like six ports, a desktop charging station. So if I need to charge something, it'll automatically select the speed optimized for the device that I'm plugging in. Really, really smart charger. Kind of stays out of the way. It's clean, uh, and it works. Um, a USB uh, speaker, which I don't use that often in here, but you know I always know that I can grab it if I need to. It is there. The monitors, I'm. I'm really hoping to not have here within the next year just because I just don't use this uh, station as much as, as I might have, uh, you know, with that other computer here. I'm, I'm going a completely different direction than most people might. I, I'm actually slim slimming down in terms of the tech that I might use on a regular basis. I, I surround myself with as, the, as many tools as I can possibly use, but uh, these monitors could definitely go to a, a better home that could make better use out of them. And so I understand that. This is uh, from Comic-Con, which I did not go to. It's uh, something that I showed in an earlier video a few times over, including the blog. So I don't want to show it to you again here. It's a, the Darth Vader Hot Wheels car before it was generally available to the public in a special lightsaber chamber. And uh, this is in pretty decent, well, tip-top condition. Excellent, I would say, because uh, I bought it brand new. Uh, this was one of the things that I did have to spend money on, but you know what? Yeah, you know, fill it, fill up a, a tank of, of gas for the car or get a collectible. And I decided not to drive anywhere for two weeks. <laughs> and I got this instead. So I would say it would be a fair exchange. There's a Chris Perillo Muppet that I made and designed, which you could do at one point in time, the Back to the Future 2 hat, which I could wear because it's now 2015. And I think that's the year of Back to the Future 2. I love this hat. It's just awesome. No matter which angle you look at it from, kind of glows. Those are the kind of things I love, like that. And of course, a Muppet that looks like Chris Perillo. I mean, like, how could you, okay, maybe not exactly like me, but how could I, like, refuse? I'm like, yeah, and then I even got a little, uh, a, 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 a kid shirt to put on that looked like a little flannel that I might wear. It's, it's like welcoming everybody. Uh, another Darth Vader. Uh, right now, uh, I've got uh, uh, the uh, the podcast mic, and I'm likely going to be getting a different podcast mic with a um, pop filter right here. I'm going to be moving this I'm not I'm trying to get a different mic to use right there if I can have it permanently if I can figure out a way to, to kind of get it done cleanly uh, and effectively uh, that's one of the things that I want to change over the next uh, year but right now I just move it out of the way just because it's in the way until I need it it's a tool uh, then uh, uh, another Justin Hillgrove this one with the Darth Vader he hasn't done many with Darth Vader but I have this original there he's kind of a scarecrow some autographed uh, cards these were not personalized, but uh, I ended up getting a hold of them and putting them in these tiny frames. Right now, that's where they sit. I might hang them up on the walls eventually. There is that uh, original Justin Hillgrove as it sits right now, and uh, the first one that I fell in love with was Justin Hillgrove because I was a fan of He-Man as a kid and G.I. Joe as a kid, uh, and uh, pretty much uh, that's what we have here in this painting. And I just fell in love with it, and I had to have the original, and now I do. Yay. This is not an original. It's a print. And uh, when I found it, I'm like, yes, that is so awesome. And I do believe the uh, the script says Darth Vader and Star Wars, and then the artist's name. Not an original. It's a print, so you could get it if you wanted. 
Underneath the desk, uh, you know, with this rolling chair, which I've had for some amount of years, that's got uh, one of the Scotty vests hanging off it, which you saw me wear for quite some time, especially uh, in the spring when I was going around. I had, if I'm traveling, I usually travel with that because you, you've got like 47 pockets in there you can throw things into. Gosh, there's a lot of dust that I'm kicking up. So if you see things flying in front of the lens, that's not my finger. Those are uh, dust particles. Uh, underneath the, the desk right now, some larger Darth Vader objects, including some holiday objects like the pumpkin, the Darth Vader with Santa, a bigger Darth Vader container. The bigger objects are going, you know, tucked away. That, that, that There's not a lot of traffic that happens back there. A Darth Vader pillow behind it. Yes, the original Darth Vader carrying case. Not in great condition, but... You know, it's it's a starting point, and if I find one that's better, I'll go that route. There's a Darth Vader lawn ornament, which can plug in and be illuminated. I'm not going to do that. Darth Vader apron, Darth Vader mask, cap, down here a backpack, a dog toy that just got leaned up, a couple more uh, stockings. Uh, Darth Vader is very, very merchandisable. There is my arcade machine filled with games that I used to love playing and still love playing, and when I want to uh, distract myself, I'll fire it up. Nothing more than just a plain old 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 computer inside uh, of this cabinet that doesn't really remain plugged if, in at this stage if only because I don't uh, accidentally want it to uh, break because it would be very very expensive to replace there's a Darth Vader rug slash mat the only thing really missing <laughs> oh, there's a lot that's missing um, is a Darth Vader chair they've recently made little chairs for kids that have Darth Vader on them a little expensive right now but I thought about getting one Diana thought about it too for a Jedi to sit on if uh, uh, or if and when she comes in here to watch me do things. So I'll probably set up the chair there or somewhere about somewhere there about so she can sit and watch. She loves watching me. If you watch her in the vlogs and I'm talking, she's just like looking at me and just listening to everything that I'm saying. It's it's fascinating. She's uh, she's very attentive and I'm very appreciative. Okay, I'm going to keep working my way this direction. A couple of lightsabers that, you know, kind of telescope out. <laughs> this one does not. That's a very evil looking Darth Vader candy holder. There's a, a plastic bowl that would go there. The, this lightsaber does illuminate. Um, then back here, more full packages of Darth Vader figurines. There we go. It's not Darth Vader. What do you know? Oh, my God. This, I believe, is the entire collection of Ewok figurines, specifically at that classic scale for figures, for Star Wars figures. Uh, this includes the newer series of Ewoks, so all the ones that have been produced to recent years, as well as the classic series. I've got some micro scale in there as well, including the Scout Walker, which obviously is not to scale, and some uh, Stormtroopers and a Biker Scout uh, back there. Uh, because that was a, a recent gift from Tommy NC 2010. And I thought, well, it was a part of the indoor set. I'm like, ah, this is just perfect. I'll put it here on the Ewok shelf. And I just, you know, I believe if I'm going to be doing a collection, I believe in, in doing it as best I can. So this is the Ewok figure shelf. Very, very proud of this shelf. Very, very happy about this. Uh, took a bit to complete, but uh, I believe I have every one of them, including, you might remember from the classic TV movies, uh, Teak back there. I have the Teak figure. Colored Vader shelf. This one's fun. If it's colored something that's not black, uh, chances are it might end up here. Chances. I'm not saying it would. Uh, I don't think I have another red Vader in package. This one is out of package. The white Vader I do think I have duped in package somewhere. Maybe I don't. I may have to get that. Uh, various candy containers, uh, a glow in the dark bobblehead, um, you know, what do they call them? Micro fighters, I, th I think. Um, other things like a figure. Oh, I just. God, I gotta learn to stop moving things. Lightsaber comes out, and I shouldn't have done that. Uh, then this one, like a chrome kind of color, like a, it's not exactly silver. It's got kind of a, a reddish a tint to it. Uh, it's got the lightsaber poking out. This one is the rare one. There's a silver colored one, but this one is, is very, 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 very nice. There's a Darth Vader candy. I talked about that container. This it has these Darth Vader shaped candies inside. Uh, collector's coins. And uh, yeah, so if you, you see, if, here's the thing. Oh, there's the, that's a silver Vader. That's not the silver Vader. That was more chrome. Um, if you see some Vader that you don't think I have, feel free to say, hey, do you have this one? Because you never really know. Uh, this shelf, again, everything that I, you got to understand, I guess I got to try to, you know, explain this 13,000 times, but I want to surround myself with things that inspire me and things that bring happiness to my life. And Star Wars has. And I love Darth Vader collectibles and I love... I love being in this room. I love being here. And, you know, there came a time for a while that I just didn't like being in here and I had to make it my room. And I've really, honestly, made it more and more into my room with every passing year, believe it or not. Um, so this shelf is filled with, yes, some Lego sets, not sets that you can buy, but uh, sets that uh, you can get as, you know, as kits that you can put together with instructions, um, including one of my first 
personal computers, the C64, uh, which, you know, by today's standards, wow, uh, radical difference. I never had a, an Apple computer, but this is like a, a Mac Classic. Um, you know, just thought it'd be kind of fun to have there, <laughs> just to have, you know. Uh, I did a video on that one, too. I think I did a video on all these, including the Atari 2600, my first home game console. You've seen that video of our family when I was a kid, when we, when I unboxed, or I guess unwrapped my first Lego set ever, as well as uh, uh, our Atari 2600, and that was it. Uh, the game console I kind of really grew up with beyond the Atari 2600 was the NES, and yes, the, uh, ah, it actually pops up. So you can stick the cartridge in. It's kind of cool. I just love it. I wish they'd produce these sets, but even even not doing that, you know, it's just kind of nice to just to see this stuff because I'm just reminded of the nostalgia. Uh, three favorite bands of all time: uh, Weird Al Yankovic, Moxie Fruvis, and uh, the uh, uh, not, they might be giants. And in fact, this this is the album because I became a, one of the super presidents. I believe in supporting my favorite content creators in every way that I can. Um, so I, I believe that as much as I ask for your support, I, I turn around and support other people that I support. Um, in here, I remember showing you at one point, there's my name. I am in the liner notes as one of the super presidents in the Nanobots album. And so I, I got this as a gift as, as part of my support autographed by both of the Johns. And, uh, I've been listening to TMBG uh, pretty much since college and, uh, Weird Al from childhood, Moxie Fruvis uh, in college. I'm not a brony um, at all. Uh, I don't really feel like I'm going to get into my little pony stuff at all, uh, but that's Cheese Sandwich. Um, this is a recent uh, figure and uh, part of a blind bag series, I believe. Sorry, I had to try to get a better handle on it. Really, really yellow. Weird Al uh, voiced this character, and I was like, dude, there's got to be a character. There's got to be a figure. And there is, there is. And so this is Cheese Sandwich, and that's why Cheese Sandwich is right there with an autograph, personalized autograph uh, from Weird Al. And I've spoken with him over the years. Uh, really, for, for, for real. So more Darth Vader stuff, including a Darth Vader kaleidoscope. It's kind of fun with uh, objects like TIE Fighters and Imperial Insignias and Dar Death Stars. Uh, this particular Darth Vader has a lightsaber that glows. You would even say it glows. Some cards, some card decks, uh, some bobbleheads. I, I like the bobbleheads on these shelves because we have the laundry room on the other side and the walls kind of vibrate. So as the walls vibrate, the, the heads start doing this. Uh, some uh, shampoo toppers, you know, more cards, cake toppers, uh, candles. Um, you know, that's a, this is a piece of soap from the original series. This, uh, this particular piece is an original work of art. It's a, a Vader mock-up. Uh, original from uh, Justin Hillgrove. That's a gift from him. Uh, the Build-A-Bear, Vader. Uh, the Steinbach uh, Darth Vader Nutcracker, which I'm very, very, very happy to have in my collection. And yes, the, the mouth does kind of move out. If I can, I can rearrange it a certain way. There we go. Uh, Darth Lundberg, right there. It's another Justin Hillgrove original that he gave me as a gift. I, Justin's amazing. And believe it, I mean, honestly, I only found out about the guy, and I purchased so much uh, works of art, uh, scrimped and saved, uh, and, and sold so many old things to get new things that I that I loved. So you, you'd be surprised. I don't just hoard things. I know some people would say, oh, you're a hoarder. No, no, no. This is not junk. This, these are collectibles. These are fun. This is art. This is this is something that I love, and it's absolutely not messy. <laughs> it's just very um, dense. Can, can we agree on dense? Let's, let's just agree on dense. Uh, okay, so moving... Oh, I forgot. Or I almost forgot. Uh, this piece, uh, I uh, took... Uh, we were able to, as a... Uh, both my grandparents, well, now all of my grandparents, but now that both of my maternal grandparents have passed away, my grandfather most recently this year, uh, we, they, the family said, if you want to take anything, you know, back with you, please do. And even though I was never really into the things that my grandfather was into, I mean, he, he repaired televisions and radios and was into electronics and, and, and building and rebuilding. He was a maker. Um, he loved doing ham stuff and, uh, you know, tinkering with electronics. So I saw this in one of the drawers. I'm like, you know, this is just perfect. I mean, this is just... It, it it it's something he used, and this is this 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 piece right here is what transformed um, this home office into a workshop. Because I'm always I'm working in here, and uh, this is this is where I work. It's not an office. Office sounds so. Ugh. I have to use it because that's what a lot of people are used to. But uh, it this this is the piece that transformed the place into the workshop. Over the past year, I believe I expanded this shelf as well. This may have been something that was intact last year. I can't remember, but. I, I made this, I had the job of the hut. I got them like on an extreme discount, like 20 bucks. And, um, it's like a, a, a one year during Christmas specials and just expanded the, the shelf into other characters in Jabba's entertainment crew. So this particular shelf is all 
pretty much uh, characters that were in Jabba's entertainment band, and then some extras. You know, I, the Han Solo and Carbonite, and uh, Leia and Boosh disguise, and uh, Lando Calrissian, Skiff Guard, Chewbacca, all that. Um, so yeah, including Boba Fett, Salacious Crumb with C three PO. His eye kind of goes in and out. It's got the goo on him. Um, a couple other characters that might have fit, but this is mostly Jabba's entertainment shelf. Not to be confused with another shelf that's coming together here. I'm really worried about putting too much here because Jedi is not yet of the age where she's going to be walking, but we have uh, gates that we're going to be putting across uh, pretty much every one of our doors. So I hope to teach her early on that daddy's toys can be played with, but not until you're older. <laughs> uh, Rancor, uh, one of the better Rancor toys uh, that was released, and uh, that's where it sits. So this may be a Rancor shelf as well as some other uh, Jabba uh, characters that I, I showed you in one, uh, one of the cabinets in the hutch. Uh, down here right now, this is where I've got uh, the voice changing boom box, inbox, new, a, a bonus LED tor torch, um, slippers that I wore for a while but kind of wore out. I'm like, Ugh, I don't want to don't want to wear them out. Uh, Darth Vader shoes. And uh, behind each one of the doors, I've got other things that haven't quite found their way anywhere. They're kind of big and I, I don't know where they can go. Some original art. Um, yes, I could hang it. I just haven't figured out where and how yet. I know how. I'm just saying that I want to try to build it the right way. So, because I'm going to be living with it for a while. Some bags that you can get, you know, is you know, gift bags when you buy things. And then on the other side, uh, a, an art kit. I got a duplicate uh, of that one, and that's unopened pretty much. A Darth Vader laptop, which again, this is a big piece that may end up moving somewhere else. Some other backpacks are just hanging off the door because they can. Uh, original art that I do want to get framed. That's me. This is a uh, digital art. It's not a paint job, but it's it's Chris Perillo with Darth Vader. It's just, I want to put that on the ego shelf somehow, but unfortunately, it may be too tall uh, to to do that. So anyway, I I really like that piece. It's just I'm waiting to find the right place for it because I don't really want to put things in the windows because I get some light in there during the day. Um, Boba Fett prototype, uh, as well as the Boba Fett, uh, the animated debut from the Star Wars Christmas special. This was a gift, a recent gift. Both of them actually. And uh, so right now they're currently there on uh, on that shelf. This light I will turn on, and it's a light Darth Vader lightsaber. If I get the Darth Vader lightsaber lava lamp, it's probably going to go here as well, although it doesn't, didn't get great reviews, so I'm not inclined to exchange my Amazon gift cards for it. Uh, some extra characters that I have that don't really belong anywhere right now, like some Star Wars Cantina characters. That's those are that's a job. A Jabba Skiff character, so I may be moving him some uh, classic bounty hunters, inc including an amazing boss, like the sculpt and the points of articulation, the, the paint. There's if you're if I was looking for a perfect action figure, like it's, it, from any series, like this boss is just he's a total badass. And I was never a fan of boss, but man, that is just so everything about that figure is amazing. Uh, Sergeant Dwallen, uh, another Jabba Skiff uh, character, but right now they're they're floating here. Darth Vader beach towel, a dog toy that they don't play with down there, uh, a mini credenza, if you will, uh, some uh, electronic equipment that I don't use all that often, if at all, as well as some spare stuff, uh, like figures that don't really go anywhere, that I don't have places for, like I don't really have a loot collection yet, if I do at all, a droid collection necessarily, so they end up in that bag so I can have them easy access. Uh, the caddy here is, uh, you know, the cameras that I use for vlogging. I recharge here. I've got a variety of batteries, a couple of which need to be recharged here. Darth Vader wrist strap. Uh, there's, there's a wallet. It's not that interesting. Sometimes I'll put it here. Sometimes I put it elsewhere. Uh, this is that Sideshow Collectibles uh, Darth Vader. Very, very, very highly detailed. Uh, super, super, super um, articulated as well. You can swap out the hands. It's just... The most amazing Darth Vader collectible in terms of posability that I've ever, 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 ever had. And so I appreciate having this in my collection, absolutely. Uh, the level of detail and the sculpt and everything about this figure is just is super high quality. Um, so every once in a while, I'll kind of turn him around and I'll, you know, pose him in a different way. And he, he'll drop every so often, too, uh, because I accidentally knocked the, the table and he falls back. That kind of sucks. I should probably find a different place for him, but he's so good looking. <laughs> Uh, that I want him close to the entrance of the workshop. This is uh, the AT, at driver, AFA graded, because uh, you know I, you know I do a lot of Darth Vader stuff. I've got a cool, you know, a couple of cool Boba Fett kind of creatures. The reason why I went as far as to get this one is because the very first Star Wars figure I had, stop me if you've heard this a million times before, was the AT, at driver, and it looked a lot like this when I saw him on the end of a peg. Um, and, uh, so this is one that I went the extra mile for, uh, to actually have in, in 
I wouldn't say mint condition, but, you know, AFA graded 80. That's not too bad. Uh, meteorite gift from bad astronomer Phil Plate. He gave this to me when we met on the set of Call for Help. Some uh, religious icons, um, including a hand of Hamza and, uh, I guess, a blessed, um, what do they call it? The, uh, the palms. Um, I'm not a religious guy at all. Uh, a, a Millennium Falcon eraser that I had as a kid and carried around. Never really used it. Never wanted to use it because, you know, hey, it was, it was a Star Wars thing. Uh, another Darth Vader mask. Um, stocking cap has Darth Vader printed on the other side. The Fantazine, which still works, and I've got kind of taped down onto the top of this. I had no other place to put it. I'm like, you know, the clock is not right. It is not 5 in the morning, but I love glowing objects. This is one of the very few electronics that I choose to keep plugged in. There is the the top of the arcade. Yes, it could do two-player. I had this one uh, when I got it. I made sure I had the rollerball just in case. Uh, I would have probably chosen to get this one configured with a steering wheel as well, but it just didn't go that far. But I love playing Millipede, and that's pretty much... This is my Millipede machine, and then some. All right, so what else do we have? Did I pretty much cover everything there? I have a feeling I did. The only thing I should probably do is show you, because just in case you're wondering, hello, it's me, this is what I'm looking like right now. This is a, a video stabilization tool uh, that I'm probably not using as well as I could, uh, but it, it should be minimizing the amount of shake. It's easier to hold on to rather than holding onto the camera directly. Uh, and then, of course, the, the phone itself, which is recording at 60 frames per second. It's just awesome. Um, and uh, I haven't even had a chance to use this all that much. It, it unscrews, too, to accommodate like a tripod mount. So very, very versatile. And I found that this is the best way to, to do the uh, video today. This is uh, a personalized napkin before I really had my collection kicked off. Dave Prowse is Darth Vader. And yes, it's a napkin. I have a lot of Star Wars character autographs on napkins, not necessarily showcased, but uh, a way for keepsake value. And, oh, I should probably show you something over here. My red curtains. Don't you love them? They're red. Yeah? You like that? I had to make sure I let you know. I love the color red. Oh, and by the way, the cable that you saw coming out of the phone, I've got a, a battery charger running down into the sleeve of my hoodie to make sure I don't run out of juice. Uh, over here, we have the magical Tetris shelf, which may get moved. Uh, there's not a lot of Tetris merch out there. Uh, Tetris lamp, which is kind of fun. You know, each one of these things is uh, illuminated, or can be. Tetris mug, it's a color-changing mug, uh, stress, stress reliever, cookie cutters, just Tetris stuff, because it's one of my favorite video games of all time. And uh, so it had its own shelf. It has its own shelf. But I have a feeling over the next year that uh, that shelf is going to get moved somewhere else, and I just don't know where yet. Uh, other Darth Vader stuff, shock, hashtag shock, uh, including a lot of uh, crossovers like the M&Ms or the Disney, uh, Muppets, there's a Gonzo Vader, uh, some Vinylmations, two of them, uh, two, actually three of them, with uh, the Mickey Mouse crossover with Darth Vader, uh, some other bobbleheads and, and things. From uh, pr pretty much the beginning of my workshop slash home office, a uh, fake plant, which that might disappear too. <laughs> it's there just because it was there, but I think it's time for the plant to go because it doesn't mean anything to me at all. Uh, a lot of bobbleheads up here, a lot, large and small. The Lego Technic Vader, I've got this one assembled. I've also got one in box downstairs, which is not in great condition. The box isn't, but uh, it is a duplicate. Uh, silver Darth Vader Pez dispenser, gigantic Pez dispenser, another one. Um, and then you can see behind there, uh, Darth Vader Chumby Jumbo. Say that 15 times fast. Chumby Jumbo, Chumby Jumbo, Chumby Jumbo. Down here, uh, we've got a lot of vertical space here, including for the crossover with the Family Guy. Uh, before they did the uh, Hot Wheels sets, there was Disney Racers, Yo-Yos, some classic uh, Darth Vader stuff, some uh, newer, uh, smaller figurines. One of these is Jedi's, but Diana moved it in the room. I don't know why. <laughs> She's got plenty of things right now. Uh, tiny Darth Vader shoes. We've got, uh, this is for my collection, and Jedi's got her own, for, so she'll be able to grow into it. Uh, cups, candles in package, a Darth Vader mouse. There you go. Computer stuff. Ah, what do you know? Uh, micro machines. Uh, you know, they didn't just have the, uh, the Micro World series back then. Darth Vader's droid, which wasn't really uh, in the movies necessarily. A Kubrick Vader, which is a duplicate from another one. Uh, this is a unique one. That, I don't know if this was ever licensed, but there's a black one and a white one you'll see in a bit. Uh, a notepad, wrist strap and package, and, you know, various things, you know, throughout the years. Just merchandise. You know, a lot of merchandise. Um, and then back there, like a yo-yo, not a yo-yo, but a paddle type of thing. And Darth Vader stuff. Cool stuff.
uh, Darth Vader Dia de los Muertos, by the way. That's the card. The, the print artwork is hanging downstairs next to the awesome room. Uh, the red shelf, because, you know, I like red and themed color things. So this is like red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow, red and yellow, uh, gold. Uh, there's a unique uh, Lego brick with uh, Vader on it. Uh, various and sundry Vader stuff that uh, is either red or yellow or black or goes other places, including a, a Darth Vader snow globe with Santa Vader. Uh, other red things that I might have kind of go here as well. This one, oh, yeah, look at that. See, that, that Vader mouse is that Vader mouse. It's just this one is out of the package, obviously. This is a Vlogger Fair coin, but it's red, so it goes here. This is another custom job from uh, Jerry, a.k.a. Barnacles Nerdgasm, one of the most awesome people I know. Very happy to call him one of my friends. And then other Vader things <laughs> down here, including a, a bunny Vader. Uh, that's for around Easter. Uh, and uh, you can see that uh, the Mighty Mugs Vader here, his helmet's off right there. There's a little mouse Vader. There's a little uh, cat toy. We don't have cats. Don't plan on getting cats. The uh, Vader Chill Pack back there. Other candy containers. A uh, paper mask Vader, which I put together. Not all that exciting. A candy tin. This is the one that uh, I picked up when I was uh, visiting London. And so that's that's where that uh, sits. Uh, you know, other components, uh, uh, Darth Vader wind up. A lot of the stuff I take out of the packaging because I want to play with it. You know, I, I probably I have duplicates, and if I don't have duplicates, I could get duplicates eventually. There's a Darth Vader uh, toothbrush back there, and you'll see more across the room as well. So, oh, by the way, this is where we are. Here, there's the, the new Vader that Diana got me. The tall stuffed animal Vader. It's not an animal. I am not an animal. Uh, some Darth Vader uh, ornaments, Christmas ornaments, many of which happen to be the box. And a uh, case, like a CD case, carrying case, a uh, coin purse, uh, some Darth Vader headphones. Most of this stuff is in packaging. Uh, another Darth Vader, a couple of Darth Vader figures back there as well. Some of the stuff, you got to be careful. I mean, unless you're a real collect, uh, supreme collector. Some of the stuff you'll get, it's the same figure, it's the same item, just in a different packaging. That's the new packaging. That is basically the same figure as what you'll find uh, over here. Um, just in different packaging. So sometimes it's good to have duplicates. The Mighty Beans Darth Vader container, and yes, I have. I don't know if I got the entire series of Star Wars Mighty Beans, but pretty close to it. And uh, they're all in here. Um, just, you know, something for people like me, collectors. Cables and whatnot in these various drawers. And I'm starting down here, and I don't know if it's going to go much further than this, uh, being a fan of Doctor Who or a Whovian of sorts. Though I wouldn't say as extreme as others, I really do like the series. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, four things. And I don't know if I really want to expand it too much further. I'm a, a, a fan of Tenant. He is my doctor. So I have that figure in package. Just got it recently. And then, of course, Dr. Hooves. Uh, see, I'm not a brony, but uh, can still have My Little Pony stuff and be happy with it. Um, this is a custom Lego set and custom print uh, of the TARDIS that does open up. And you can see the TARDIS inside. The, or I guess the, the heart of the TARDIS inside. Uh, David's, I'm sorry, the Doctor's sonic screwdriver, my Doctor's sonic screwdriver, cabling and stuff that's boring, blah. And then over here, uh, I haven't found other places for it, but I've enjoyed other things through the years, like Transformers and G.I. Joe and Khaleesi, since I'm House Targaryen. Not really impressed with the, the, the Khaleesi figure, necessarily. Still love G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe would be another collection I'd love to kick up. Always loved the designs uh, of Cobra, specifically. Um, and, you know, been a fan of robots through the years. So, uh, especially Transformers and uh, Optimus Prime is iconic and I never really had uh, any other kind of favorite Transformer. So, this particular area is probably going to expand over the next year. I just don't know how and where. Up here, we have the... Hang on, I gotta move myself around. Um, the TV, hello, if you can see the reflection. And Stormtroopers, since I, <laughs> I like Stormtroopers. Um, and a variety of uh, collectible pins. So I, I, if I get a stormtrooper or a trooper type of thing, uh, I, I put them here, including the uh, the taller trooper, which was fun. Um, the because uh, you never know, stormtroopers are fun to carry around. If you want to spice up your photos, just use stormtroopers in them. Stand up here uh, to show you a better view of the pins. These are not all of the collectible pins, uh, but many of them uh, from Disney, uh, Star Wars weekends, or what have you. Uh, a lot of them, and uh, any one of them, I don't think, you know, I, I mean, I even have duplicates, but um, they uh, all have Vader on them, all the collector pins right there at this point. They may end up going into some kind of case eventually, but uh, right now, not so much. So you can see a, a variety of, like, uh, prototype 
stormtroopers, troopers that have an odd sculpt to them because they belong from different series, snow trooper, evo trooper, space trooper, and just troopers in general, but especially the classic stormtrooper and my very first Star Wars figure ever. Sentimental value through the roof. TV! <laughs> then uh, over here we have more stuff, including a custom uh, Darth Vader. I saw the artist at Comic-Con. I said, hey, do you have a Vader one? He says, no. He says, but I've always wanted to do one. I'm like, do one. I'm commissioning you. And he did it. It's awesome. Um, it's really, really cool. Love the style. Those are collector cards out of a series. That's the full series of cards and uh, on, the, on the frame. See, I'd like to do that possibly with the pins, but i got to find a way to basically lay them out and accommodate them. Star Wars mugs and stuff are up here, including, this is not a mug, obviously. It's a piece of chocolate. This was a gift recently, this uh, past Christmas. And ooh, be careful, I'm spinning these things out of control. Uh, this is still full. and It's empty or um, hollow chocolate, but uh, fun nonetheless. A collector plate. Various things that fit in in other places. A popcorn bucket, a face-off game, a tall mug, napkins, Blah, 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 blah. Very, 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 very tall Vader. Well, not as tall as the 30-inch, uh, but still um, you know, scaled down, I think, about half of the 30-inch. 20-inch? Uh, Darth Vader branded vitamins, <laughs> which I didn't open. Those are gummy vitamins, which I would love to eat, but I, I, I haven't gone that far. I'm not in that dire need of, uh, of vitamins at this stage. Christmas ornaments and whatnot will go up here. There's another uh, taller uh, Darth Vader collectible, too. Uh, but yeah, Christmas ornaments, a lot of them are up here. If they were unboxed, some bobbleheads, uh, duplicate Vaders. There's the Santa Vader from this year's Star Wars Lego Christmas Advent Calendar. Some uh, toothbrushes, classic toothbrushes, still in packaging. And yes, Darth Vader toothbrushes from the classic series right there. Um, back behind everything, there's a, an LP with the story of Star Wars with Darth Vader on it. I probably should get that in a package. I just haven't done it yet. A, a wall calendar and then Star Wars stamps. Which again, I would love. To, uh, careful, Chris. I'd love to hang. I just haven't done it yet. Um, okay, I have to stop touching things right now because I do not want to ruin anything. So you, you are going to stay right there. Okay? Is that? Can can we wait? Uh, I have to move a couple of dollar bills around because uh, I've got a, a number 10, 10 million written on one of these dollar bills to remind me that one day I will figure out how to <laughs> turn all this into ten million dollars. You know, my passions, my interests my life. So that's, it well, should be a reminder, but unfortunately it's covered right now. So I'm going to, I am going to pull that out and put it in a better place. Jasmine made this custom, uh, based on a, a pattern, a custom Vader embroidery, needlepoint. Um, you can see the level of detail if I can angle it just right. I mean, this is, took a long, 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 long time. She has an Etsy shop too, so you could get your own order if you want, but uh, love this piece. You know, she found the round frame for it and everything, but uh, I put it in a place that I could always see it, and so that's why it's specifically in that position, not just because it's by the closet, but because I'm usually sitting here facing that direction, so I could see everything from this direction, and I can uh, see that one because she spent a lot of time on it. And then uh, Action Figure Painter did this one. It's an original work uh, based on the... Uh, Kenner uh, action figure, the original Darth Vader. And uh, I love original art, if I can get a hold of it. Uh, down here, I've got my travel kit ready to go at a moment's notice with all the cords and cables and batteries that I need. A gigantic Angry Birds head just covering it because it can. Uh, this is a recent acquisition, a gift from Jasmine and Slav as well that doesn't have a place right now. But as I said, I'm kind of in between where things are going right now because I've got, uh, I've got to move a lot of the stuff off the top of the shelves. Uh, when they come in here next week to uh, replace the ceiling. Uh, in here, yeah, even, believe it or not, more toothbrushes. Uh, things that are uh, still kind of in package and some out of package. Uh, the pumpkin kits, a uh, hologram, a uh, Darth Vader watch. That used to be all the rage back in the, uh, the 80s. The, the idea that you can kind of move around something and it would look like it was moving with you. Darth Vader yo-yo, a companion walkie-talkie with the Stormtrooper one that was on the TV. Didn't realize there were so many Darth Vader uh, stormtroopers. <laughs> I mean, uh, toothbrushes, stormtroopers. I've been talking a long time. Some play packs, uh, just various uh, uh, various uh, Vader branded stuff, including Vader USB. Okay. What, Chris? What did I say? Stop touching things. Stop touching things. Uh, back there, more Vader stuff. Look at that, including napkins out of package. 
There are napkins in package though, but I took that one out because I wasn't sure if I was going to get the full one yet. Uh, this is where the Mac Mini used to be. Now I've got various things like a, the Darth Vader iHome uh, Bluetooth speaker, which I'll likely not use, a duplicate uh, LED torch, different kind of torch uh, for uh, that LED Vader. There's the white version of that custom Vader that I got lucky to get. Um, Darth Vader snow globe, which does play music. Chrome Vader mug. Uh, Ash, Ashley signed this one. This she played uh, the voice of Ahsoka Tano in uh, Darth, or in uh, the Clone Wars series, and she has a, a website where she sells a lot of merch specifically for girls and girls who are geeks. Uh, Vader type of mug. A lot of Vader mugs out there. But since this has got a lot of white stuff on the shelf, the Stormtrooper Salt Shaker ended up here. Uh, my Anakin Skywalker figure, a white uh, custom uh, Duplo brick right there. Darth Vader stamp from the classic series, a white Boba Fett, which I may end up moving. Um, and a snow globe, just a, a Vader building a, a snow globe of the Death Star right there. Because <laughs> he can. And it's holiday-ish. Uh, Darth Vader containers. What else back there? Oh, that's a magnet? Yeah, it's a mag Darth Vader magnet. And as I said, mugs. This is the uh, six-inch Darth Vader. Super, super poseable. Super, super detailed. Uh, one of the better Darth Vader action figures you can get. And I've got them here so that I can just grab them at a moment if I need to pose them in something. Down here we have some more, including a couple of uh, customs. Um, the uh, Money or Dunny? I can never get them straight. And a Kokeshi, done by the same artist. Uh, Kokeshi doll, painted Vader. Um, that is an original. Uh, pencil case sketchbook set. A lot of these are uh, were gifts. Uh, another Darth Vader nutcracker back there. Uh, some statuettes. Some self-stirring mugs. Uh, this was a, a rather unique uh, Vader right there. It's like a koosh. <laughs> got hair like mine let's get them out here okay, chris what did i say stop touching things wow what do you know i didn't screw that up uh viewmaster loved these things when i was a kid flipped when i found out they had a darth vader one this i have in package obviously there's one that says join the dark side back there kind of sparkles and has stars could plug in just haven't done it uh, there's a unique bobblehead here uh darth vader pen a playmate uh, Darth Vader. Oh, there's the Angry Birds case. I knew I had it somewhere. There it is. Okay. Uh, Darth Vader shaped TV games. Uh, classic Star... Not Star Wars games I grew up with, but Star Wars themed games in a Darth Vader looking controller. Uh, Darth Vader yo-yo, whiteboard. Um, this would be a cookie jar of sorts. Uh, plenty of shelf space here for other things too. Uh, not a lot happening in the middle yet. Pencil case. And then down here, whoa, there's another Darth Vader. I've got another carrying case. Uh, back there, it's a, it's a, basically a, a double head, uh, or sorry, bobblehead. Why did I say double? Uh, I don't know. Um, another pencil case. A lot of this stuff needs to be re reorganized and re-optimized, and you'd be surprised. I could probably fit even more stuff in here. Uh, chubby Vader, and I believe a lunchbox Vader back there. Now, we'll stand back up again. Sorry if I'm making anybody dizzy, especially in these movements. I think I've already kind of covered everything. Oh, apart from up there... Yeah, plates and extras and bonuses and things that I didn't already have. Sorry if I'm not getting them in full view for everybody. A lot of this stuff is going to get moved around, though. So uh, I'll be able to better uh, organize not just colors, but uh, items and, and styles and everything. Like putting, trying to put hats together and figures together, etc., etc., etc. There's that. Now, I know everybody's interested in the closet. This is the closet of wonders. Uh, things that I don't necessarily need at any point in time, but they're here. Uh, various collections that don't need to be displayed, although I need to pull a couple of them out. Uh, tech that is better not seen and probably never going to be used. An eSATA external drive. It worked, I'm sure, well, but I just never got around to uh, using it. Yikes. Um, other accessories and adapters and everything go in the drawers that I've collected over the years. Um, a lot of stuff that I can't bring myself to get rid of, including my first digital photo frame and other various glowing toys, uh, classic Mac software shelf and stuff, uh, other accessories. This this is another area that probably needs to be gone through, uh, if only because I can eliminate a lot of it and just because I don't use it. There's no there's no need. Why why would I use this mouse? It just it's it's pointless. Why do I have it? I don't know. I'll keep the eyesight because they these were these were awesome back in the day. Uh, not so much anymore. I've got a gaming shelf too. Look at this. This is this is where I, I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out if this fits anywhere outside of, of uh, you know 
this here in the closet, but I like opening the closet and having fun. Open the closet to do something important, like grab an accessory, a tripod, or something like that, and uh, see fun stuff. I like that. So that's why I have fun stuff here. Like a lot of the classic pixel art characters, some Android stuff, uh, like in here. Yeah, I don't know. This, it, the closet probably needs reorganized, honestly. I, I, I'll, be, uh, I'll be straightforward with you. I know it needs reorganized. Uh, but it's kind of like, well, right now, do I, doesn't, do I need to address anything? No. What I have here works for the moment. I'll get to it when I can. So it's the closet and the various drawers and CDs and accessories that I'll never, 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 never likely ever touch again or care about or think about. And that's usually what happens with technology. This stuff, however, I'm always going to care about. I care about you as well. So thank you for joining me for yet another workshop slash home office tour. This is really my first workshop tour, I guess. Uh, I enjoy being in here. I enjoy showing people around. I enjoy getting uh, their uh, uh, reactions when they first come in here because this is uh, usually the angle they're used to. They usually say, oh, wow, yeah, I've seen this. I know this. This is awesome. And they sit in the chair that's been around forever that I probably should get around to upgrading because it's broken so many times. Uh, but it's, it's it hasn't fallen apart yet. <laughs> yeah, I'll probably fall apart before it falls apart. But, uh, yeah, I'm always happy to come in here. Uh, now, at least, and uh, find myself surrounded by things that I appreciate and, and that I love because it's important to uh, to be happy. No one can make you happy, and uh, what makes you happy may not make someone else happy. And uh, I, uh, I've learned to cast aside those who judge others uh, and hold them to their uh, their own values and their own ways to be happy. Those those people are not people that uh, you want to be around or that you want around you. I certainly don't want around me. Uh, oh, I should probably. I forgot about this. I stacked these up, I think, last year or something. Uh, had some stuff that I might want to have quick access to. Some random things. This, this is the 6-inch Vader still in a box from uh, Dorkside Toys, I believe, uh, sent me this one, and I appreciated it. Uh, the uh, Another Darth Vader Nutcracker that was sent. Uh, some Imperial uh, Troopers, a family of them, or Gunners. Uh, I've got a lot of smartphones that used to be brand new, and now they're like previous gen. And so they're they're worth something, but... They're all previous gen smartphones, so I don't know if I'm going to be using them all that often anymore to call, especially if I'm doing like a TLDR, like from here. I'll have them here so I can grab one, like right around the corner as I'm sitting here. I can just reach over here and grab it and kind of, I usually know by feel what the phone is, and they're just, it's kind of stacking this rubber thing. Um, but unfortunately, like I said, a lot of this stuff is just not, uh, not worth a lot anymore because they, they we've moved on to like at least one or two new generations so if i pulled it out people would wonder like whoa that's like an old phone if some if a phone's like a year old it's quote unquote old so a lot of this is going to disappear because it used to be worth a lot and technology loses value over time but that's why we like technology honestly we like upgrading i just haven't had a chance to upgrade every particular piece uh, of equipment uh as i would have liked to but that's, that's where the smartphones currently sit. I should probably figure out a way to uh, get these donated to people who could uh, make better use out of them. There are an array of Darth Vader socks. You'd be surprised at how many Darth Vader socks are out there. I wasn't sure how to get these, you know, displayed. And so it just, they, they, there's a Darth Vader sock shelf. <laughs> uh, empty shelf, just in case they ever invent Darth Vader underwear. <laughs> which I'd probably wear. Uh, and then some Darth Vader lights down here. Because I had no other place for them. Because they, look, they looked junky if I put them anywhere else. A couple were battery-operated. A couple you'd plug into the wall. Almost forgot about these. Sorry about that. I would have uh, felt bad about not showing you this. Because I, I see it so often. I don't know what I'm going to do with this area yet. This, I think, has got to be important for me to get to something on the side. I just don't know what it is yet. Oh. I guess I better go. At this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices.